My first major was uh, mechanical engineering, which I found out that I was not very good at. <laughs> it was too much theory and not enough visually problem solving, which is the only thing I'm really good at is solving things visually. I never really want to make something that's just like, you know, it mows a lawn or something like that, right? Like it's just the part of the appeal to me is just, it's stupid, it's silly that, that someone would spend this kind of energy making these things for no apparent reason, there's no function. I didn't want to become a starving artist, so I actually ended up pursuing animation. Skylanders, I think, was the first game that we actually had something physical. You know, the reason that originally I first started hacking toys and making things is because I, I don't even draw in pencil anymore. Everything's digital, you know, so I miss that just kind of getting your fingernails dirty, you know. So this was the first time that I don't really feel like the need to create something at home anymore because I get so much of that here. Skylander exists in the game and it exists in our videos and it exists in the world as a toy, but we start with the toy because Really, that's what's new and different about Skylanders. I'm really fortunate that Iwe and I get to create the original characters together. Now, Iwe handles all of the visuals, and you know, I, I think he does more than his fair share in the character design. I mean, he sketches characters nonstop, and he's got these books of characters that he does at home. I don't think I don't think he can't make characters. It's a sickness. Yeah. It's, it's beyond addiction. It, it's I, I should be treated because <laughs> yeah. I, I literally can't stop. You know. Um, it, like when I get home, I draw characters when I'm, or make things that are kind of like characters. When I'm at work, I'm doing the same thing. I often feel like I'm not really in control. <laughs> it's just like, I just start doing stuff and it just kind of comes out. When I can't draw something, when I don't know what to draw, I start drawing circles. Like this guy's, Chop Chop's face is really four circles, right? So I think his head in particular, I've been drawing for a long time. Yeah. What I get to do is represent sort of the more conceptual side. And so sometimes we'll go consult with the character designers and they'll say, well, you know, in terms of balance, we need a long range character that's fire based, that's, you know, a kind of a humorous character. And so in that case, there's sort of an envelope that is created that we work within. We knew we wanted a giant character that is tech based. You know, the thing that makes sense was Johnny Robot, right? So we kind of first went down this road pretty far. Um, even as far as modeling it out and just kind of get a feel of what it looks like. And we got you know this far before we realized, hey, you know, this is not Skylanders anymore. You know, it's a little bit outside of the bounds. When you're coming up with these characters, we're really not making enemies. We're making people that you can identify with. And Iwe is is brilliant at finding this combination of powerful, cute, and tactile. I'm used to designing games and thinking about experience, but he can go from something in his head, he can go into the virtual world of computers, or he can go into his hands and build it, and usually steam powered. The steam power stuff came mainly because I was spending so much time drawing these things and trying to figure out how to make it look convincing that I was actually researching into like how would it work and how does it work, how does steam power work. Now this is just alcohol in a tray and just sitting on fire. It's fueled by alcohol, you know, there's basically a fire tray down here. Uh, it's heating up the water to steam as you can see and it's getting piped into this um, piston. You can see the piston is running the, the engine really, really quickly and that's driving all these gears to, to walk. With Skylanders, you know, I mostly I create things for kids, right? Mm. So I feel very much like a kid. Working with this stuff, I feel like a kid, but I'm actually making it for my adult self. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like something I've always wanted to do and wonder if it actually would work. So this is kind of my toys and Skylanders, I made, consciously make it for, you know, yeah. kids. We've always thought that it would be neat, you know, this is a kid's game, but like, we're making it so that we like it too. And the same with the toys, we're not making toys for just kids, we, we want to make them as cool as like, I would like it, and adults would like it. In Giants, we actually go into 3D printing, so we build the character inside ZBrush, we pose it, we print it, 
and we get to a very complete realization. It comes out of the machine in full color like this. Some characters um, are pretty simple. They, they just reprint out three poses and it's like, okay, the, that one pose. Other characters would go, okay, we print it out too big. Maybe it's a little bit smaller or uh, let's try the pose here. It actually doesn't fit in the box or like, okay, let's change it because this color just doesn't work. And a lot of times we get a toy, it's like, okay, this doesn't look cool enough or if the arm's up higher and then they start bending things and tweaking things and uh, even like, having uh, a character like this where we're trying to figure out where the best angle it is for a light. So when you actually do light it up, you know, like it really does matter at which, which angle. I was just on vacation and I had a Skylanders backpack and kids were coming up and like, Skylanders! You know, like they completely recognize the characters and being able to talk to them and just like saying, asking them, you know, what's your favorite character? Oh really? You know, it's just like, it's, it's been really great. If, if the fantasy that we're putting all this time and energy into is that this toy is a real creature just frozen in the world, I don't ever want that to change. You know, and I think the best thing, honestly, that we can do is make sure that they have value for the long term and that people don't just open up the package and put them on the shelf and then throw them away. You know? I think for me, it's all about um, creative challenge. Doing steam power stuff is all very scary to do uh, because it, most of the time actually doesn't pan out. And uh, same with Skylander stuff, there's most of the stuff don't work, you know, and so I like failures um, in that I learn from them. So I, I think I would just like to keep challenging myself and, and hopefully have the opportunity to keep doing new things, something that's different, uh, keeping a unique kind of feel and perspective on things I think uh, will always be really important to me.